Hello everyone. So today we are going to this question why in a Java one equal to equal to this double equal operator is a true but when it comes to thousand equal to equal to double equal to thousand it will be false. This is only when we are dealing with the wrapper classes in the Java. So let's see why this double equal to while dealing with the wrapper classes this is a true and this while comparing this thousand it is a false so in java the behavior when one e double equal to one is a true but thousand double equal to thousand is a false when we are dealing with the wrapper classes can be surprising this is due to how java handles object comparison and the concept of object caching for the certain values in the wrapper classes so before we go to this why this is happening we have to understand the wrapper classes so the java has the wrapper classes for the primitive types let's suppose we have a int as a primitive for that wrapper class we have is integer for the double we have double and so on we have so this wrapper classes allows the primitive type to be treated as an object which is useful in the situation where an object is required like in the collection we use the only the wrapper classes now here also we have to understand the concept of this auto waxing when you compare two numbers using double equal operator and these numbers are primitive type so java compares directly their values and so in the case of primitive type if you want if you are using double equal operator then we, it will compare the values however in the case of wrapper classes what will happen is java compares the reference not their actual values because that will consider at it as a object now how the caching of the wrapper object will work that we have to understand so to optimize the memory usage java caches the instances of certain values of the wrapper classes okay now this will be vary from the data type to data type for the byte short integer long java caches the values from minus 120 to 127 for the character it's uh, the limit is between 0 to 127 for boolean it caches the true and false value so when a value within the range is auto box that is converted from the primitive type to the corresponding wrapper object java returns the same cached object however if a value is outside this range a new object is created so if you understood till now then you might have gone uh, this why this is happening so let's suppose uh, we can use this practically we can also understand let me go here and let me delete this if i try to here now these are the wrapper classes we are dealing with the wrapper classes we are here we are sending this one to the a one to the b thousand to the x thousand to the y now here a and b we are comparing here x and y we are comparing let's see what will be the result run as a java application okay here we are getting true and false so why this is happening because of this one okay caching of the wrapper objects so to optimize the memory you say java cache instant for the certain values in the so here is the case of integer it will cache from minus 128 to 127 so what will happen when we are assigning a to the one so this is a one and here let's suppose it's instance this is a hundred now a a will be pointing to the same object now it is in the between the range of minus 128 to minus uh, minus 128 to 127 what will happen when b will come so to optimize the performance what we'll do b will also point to the this same one and as we know in the wrapper classes it will check the reference of that object so they are pointing to the same object so their reference will be equal so that will come into the picture it is will be the true but in case of thousand what will happen here is a thousand we have when x is formed here now its instance could be 1000 let's suppose 1000 it is the instance oh yeah so x x will be pointing to the this 
this instance of this one now when it come to it will come again to this assigning y to the thousand so but the value of this thousand is not between the cache for the integer that we have used 120 to 127 it will first see whether the number is between this one no it is not so when it come to the y what will happen here is a thousand and it instant let's suppose it will be 2000 now y will be pointing to the this instance okay so now x is pointing to the this instance y is pointing to the this instance now when while comparing these two wrapper classes it will compare thousand is equal to two thousand or not it is which is not equal so that will come into the feature it as a false but in case of this one what will happen the one is between the range of this so it will be cached now the a a and b will be pointing to the same reference then while comparing here what will happen is hundred will be compared with the hundred that's gonna get here true and here it will get a false so that is the reason why it is happening so if you understand this part then it will be easy to understand this i will read out it again so to optimize the memory usage java caches the instances of the certain values of the wrapper class especially for the byte short integer long java caches the values from minus 128 to 127 for the character it caches values from 0 to 127 for boolean it caches true and false values so when a values within this range is out of box that is converted from the primitive type to the corresponding wrapper object java returns the same cached object in the case of one we have seen it will return the same cache object while if we assigning thousand it will not return the same cache object so however if a value is outside the range the new object is created and this double equal in the wrapper while we comparing the upper object it will compare the instance okay so that is the reason behind this when we're dealing with the wrapper classes why this one double equal to one is a true but thousand double equal to thousand is a false so if you understood this so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel